Hello everyone and welcome to a very special episode of the Jaya Music Q&A series. This episode is going to be an interview that I did with a YouTuber called Retro Gaming. He's a great dude and he invited me on this series that he does on his channel where he interviews various uh, YouTubers. I will leave a link to his channel in the description of this video and in the SoundCloud post. So please go check him out and give him a subscription. He's a very good YouTuber, super talented and I really enjoyed myself in this interview where we talked about what I study, what's it like being a YouTuber, my childhood, all these different topics really fun interview so make sure to go subscribe to him and also just so you know the giant music q a series is a patron only podcast meaning that the reason why i'm releasing this uh interview here on youtube and everywhere is because it's already been released on retro's channel this is just my edited version of it so if you want a full version of the interview where i, I cut out little uh, parts here and there go check out the full video on his version the interview and so if you want more of these episodes you need to become a patron of giant music on patreon.com backslash giant music Thank you all so much for the support, and I hope you enjoyed the interview. Take it away, Retro. Hello, and welcome back to yet another awesome interview uh, with the community on Twitter and uh, I guess Twitch and YouTube as well. So today I'm with uh, Jayan. I think that's how you pronounce your name. I've never actually pronounced Jayan, it. Jayan, yeah. Jayan? Oh, I wasn't, all good. wasn't far yeah. off. Um, this is a special no, one because I've actually done a uh, podcast with uh, Jayan previously, which is on in this playlist. So go check that out. Um, speaking of, you do have a YouTube channel, so if you just want to quickly introduce that, you can. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, my channel is Jayan Music. How original, I know, right? Um, I do anime covers and anime podcasts on my channel, so I cover songs from different uh, shows that I enjoy. Um, I also do original music, um, mostly rap. Uh, so very much a, a music-focused uh, channel, very audio-focused channel. And I do this show called Anime Podcasters, which I've been hosting for over two years now. Um, and we just cover various anime topics and do like 45-hour-long podcasts where we just nerd out, talk about our favorite shows, do Q&As. It's a really good time. So that's, um, that's my channel. That's what I do. That's me. All right, cool. Now we'll kick off the questions. Um yeah. Let's just go with education ways. Um, what are you studying if Yeah, you mentioned previously that you're studying because of uni like assessments and that. So what are you studying? Uh I'm doing a bachelor's degree in electroacoustic studies. Um so what electroacoustic music is is you take a sound and you basically recreate a brand new uh, sound object out of it. You process it, you mix it differently, you master it, uh, and you take all these different sounds and you engineer them in a way where you create a brand new sound. It's not even like a song anymore. It's like sonic atmospheres. It's like there's no tempo, there's no specific melody. It's always transforming. Um, and so I've been doing that over the last year where um, it was, it's been a really fun first year of studies. I learned so much. Um, you take a look at audio in a very, very precise way. Like you look at the sample rate, the bit rate, like all of these very like in-depth um, topics. And it's been a really fun year. So I've been doing that this last year. I just finished my first year and it was a, a really good time. That's uh, that's what I study, yeah. Oh, that sounds uh, very interesting, um, but intense. It does sound intense. Uh, that follows to the next. Oh, it is intense. It's of, very intense. Uh, yeah. Uh, where and how did you grow up as a kid? Like, uh, where did you grow up, and how was your childhood? Uh, childhood was fun. Yeah, definitely a fun childhood. Um, grew born in France uh, is where I'm from, um, and then I moved to Canada. Moved back to France, moved back to Canada, so I moved a lot as a child. Um, so I was a lot in schools, I changed schools a lot. Uh, and my childhood was really fun. I, I mean, I had a, I have an amazing family, I have amazing friends. Um, a lot of the shows I watched, uh, I'm still into and I still discuss on the on the podcast and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, no, I had a really fun childhood. And I mean, what made me walk the path I walked, if you, is that okay if I go to that question? Yeah, no, go for it. Okay. Um, so when I was in the eighth grade, there was this guitar club that opened up at my school and I was really interested in guitar. It looked really cool. I saw like on TV and my friend, um, he played a guitar and he played this Green Day song and I thought it was really cool. So I signed up for it. It was like 20 bucks for the whole year. And I did it in that class and it was really, it was really crazy because we learned like all these 
these really easy songs, but I was like, wow, like I'm producing sound right now. Like I can record this, I can capture this, I can post it, I can do whatever I want with this. This is my creation. And it's the, it just made me realize that arts is such a wide um, space where you can really do anything you want. Yeah. That sounds very similar to programming. Like if, if I write a script, that's purely my script, like legally that's immediately like, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Copyright. So, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I can understand how fun and everything it will be for you to just like create your own song or your own um tunes and everything. Yeah, no, mm-hmm. I, I can understand that completely where you're coming from. I know nothing about music, yeah. but I do understand the analogy. Yeah, 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 of course, of course. Um, but yeah, music is just always, like, it's been 10 years now that I've been doing music and I've been dabbling in this universe. And it's really crazy to think, like, if uh, like if I think of my life without music, like, I would not be in the city I'm currently living. I would not have met the people I've currently met. Uh, I would not be on YouTube. I would be, like, in a much different place. Not to say that that place would be better or worse, um, but I wouldn't be where I am now, where I perform every week on YouTube and I enjoy myself and I study these really fun topics. And, you know, this is what I want to do with my life. I know that sound and music is something I want to pursue forever. Yeah. All right, well, you kind of answered another question in that, but it happens. Oh, I'm just killing it over here. Oh, just killing yeah, it over like, here. Um, in a lot of interviews, I've mentioned it previously in a lot of them as well, they tend to answer, like, all my questions in one like one explanation of one question alone. Really? Yeah, because, wow. like, um, my next question was, outside of YouTube, career-wise, what did you want to do? And you kind of answer that you want to be a musician. Yeah, uh, yeah, but I can be more into specifics. Like, oh, yeah, I think that point. like being a musician for, yeah, being a musician for a living is like that is something very, very tough to do. Um, I mean, obviously, number one job would be to, if I could make a living off my YouTube content. That would be crazy. Like, I do monetize my videos, and I did manage to survive the uh, YouTube uh, basically deleting 90% of its partners. I managed to survive that. Which, that apocalypse. was crazy. That was crazy. Are you talking about one, two, or uh, three? Uh, I'm not talking about uh, Apocalypse uh, specifically. Uh, I'm talking about when YouTube decided to make uh, the partner changes where you needed 4,000 hours of watch time oh, and a minimum right. of 1,000 yeah, yeah, subscribers. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I had to do anything with ads specifically. Uh, it's just a, it's a partnership change. Uh, that was like a crazy thing. But to go back to your question, um, I would love to sound design in movies or in video games. That would be something I really enjoy. Like I've been doing this for a while now while I, I just record these like random sound effects and I collect them and I have this huge bank, like uh, it's sitting on my desktop whenever, every time I open my laptop and it's a crap ton of sound effects that I've collected and recorded or like I found like on free like sound banks that like people are like, oh, use this anytime you want. I just have like all of these audio files that's like taking most of my hard drive. So <laughs> it's really fun. I really have enjoy uh, like um... sound effects trying freelance yeah. maybe like offering your services I, have, I, I do freelance oh that's beautiful I've done it before. Um, well if, yeah. at the end of that if you send me like the link to your freelance page or website or whatever i'll put that in the description below um sure i i've stopped freelancing um because like school was taking up way too much of my time and i was doing youtube and um so i didn't have time to freelance but this summer i might i might throw myself back up into freelancing um but yeah oh well i'll I'll leave the link there and then um you know you can discuss that with potential clients and whatnot sure sure yeah um okay the next question do you have any siblings if yes uh what was it like growing up with them if no what do you think it will be like I have one little brother that I love very much. Uh, what was it like growing up with them? Uh, I'll, if I had to down to one word, I'd say entertaining. Uh, we definitely, <laughs> uh, definitely entertain each other. I think anyone with a sibling knows what it's like to like, you know, you fight, you love, you fight, you love. But like, I, it's always been like nothing but love with my brother. Like, I really, really appreciate him, and you know, I, we we talk like literally every day, even if I'm like in a different city and he's, uh, you know, in my hometown. Um, so How I really enjoy the, uh, the company. I've had. Just four years. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And um, you're twenty three. Twenty three, going on twenty four. Oh shit! I got it right. Haha. <laughs> I couldn't remember from the yes. podcast. But um. All good. Yeah. Uh, this is a bit off topic. Um, 
but you didn't mention the anime podcast and um yeah while we're at it uh, just leave it in the in-, in the interview it's all right um when would you want to do uh do that just so i can when would i want uh i don't yeah. understand your question uh you asked if i wanted to be in your anime podcast or yeah something. yeah yeah um so after the interview sorry i'm just sorting out my thoughts at the moment after the interview uh we can sort that out and um because yeah I'll, I mean, this summer i'll have a bunch of time this summer i'm going to be recording uh many more uh anime podcasts and i have some i've recorded in the past and so there's just gonna be a, a lot of a lot more content on my my channel this summer we're gonna find time to we, we could find a specific anime to talk about we could do a q a you could come on as a guest like to, definitely it's it's gonna happen for yeah. sure no nah, that's beautiful i'm looking really i'm really looking forward to that and um yeah, of course. Uh, a next question would be relationship. Do you ha- are you in a relationship? If yes, if no, why? I am not in a relationship. Uh, why am I not in a relationship? Uh, I mean, I just haven't met the right person. I guess that's it. Uh, I'm well, very um, much single right now. Let, yeah. Let's turn this into a little dating thing. Uh, are you a okay. Sagittarius, or tell us about yourself? <laughs> I'm a Leo. Uh, I'm also a YouTuber. Um, <laughs> I'm a music. Um, I don't know. I'm an outgoing person. I have a lot of energy. Um, and honestly, like, I'll find the right person uh, when that time comes. I don't like have specific like. I need this person to be like this or like that. Like, if we vibe, we vibe. That's it. Like, I I'm not gonna overcomplicate things for sure. And he does have a beard, ladies. I I can I can I guarantee he has a do beard. have a beard. And um, that's that's a that's a fact. <laughs> yes, and you gotta love the beard. Like, you just can't deny. It. <laughs> so. No, well, not not everyone loves the beard. Like, I know I know some girl they tell me like, mm, no, I'm not a fan of the beard. So oh. it, it, it's dependent on on the people. Yeah, no, my yeah. wife is like, grow a beard, shave. <laughs> so, so I think it depends on how the beard is made up because like yeah. sometimes it's too rough. Other times my wife loves to play with it and all that. So I think it depends on how they groom it. If that makes sense. I mean, I just grow it out. I don't groom anything. I mean, I shave the neck sometimes, but um, that's about it. Yeah. Well, if you're into beards, he's your guy. So. Yeah, only if you're into beards. That's it. That's the only. That, that's yeah. That's it. That stops there. <laughs> oh, absolutely. But no. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. No. A spin-off question to the relationship thing. Have you been in a relationship? Oh yeah, definitely. I've I've def- I've definitely dated before. Um, yeah. Was it anything it serious or? I mean, I mean, if I'm single now, I guess it, 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 it can't have been that serious. Well, um, no, in, in that terms, like it, people have been together for 15, 20 years and ended up breaking off. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm 23 years old. So I have not been with someone for 15 or 20 years. I never got engaged either. Uh, nothing like that. So I guess the answer would be no, nothing serious. No, oh, then it, it's not too bad. Not too bad. You're still young. Um, Yeah. Keeping it, uh, keeping it uh, cozy uh, by myself, uh, waiting for the right one. And sports? Do you, are you in a sports at all? Like, um, I can't remember if we discussed Am I in this, sports? but yeah, I'm not specifically a sporty person. I mean, I mean, I am in good shape. Like, if I have to run to catch my bus, I will catch that bus, um, which yeah, I do a lot in Montreal. He's in good shape. He has a beard. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god! Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I do not live in Australia though, which is probably was where most of your audience is though. No, um, most of my no? audience is from uh, the US. I'm not in the US. I'm in uh, Canada. Some are from Canada, Europe, and uh, some Australian. I've got a I've got a okay. fast mix. Um, but yeah, a lot That's of the good. people I have on the series is from all over the place. Like there's UK, there's different parts outside the UK, but still Europe, America, Canada, um, right, right, Australia. Uh, you know, I I accept all comments pretty much. Right, right, right. But yeah, um, so but it, you're welcome to come to Australia if you want. I mean, I'll buy you a beer. <laughs> I have the money, not- man. Yeah, don't say that. <laughs> Whenever you can. No, I'm, I'm just being honest, man. Even like six years from I now. Wish. I want to travel. 
Six yeah, years no, I do want to travel, but like, I mean, if yeah, I would like to, but like six years from now, I, I might still be studying. I mean, I want to go far into studies. You know, I'm in university right now, but like, oh, yeah, maybe yeah, a master's yeah. or I, a PhD. I, get, I hope I am not studying in six years. I want to end this shit as soon as I can. <laughs> See, I love what I study, so I don't want to. I don't want to end it anytime oh, soon. I, love, I really appreciate it. I love what I study as well, but I, I'd rather self-study. You know what I mean? Like, I'll get my degree, and then everything outside of that, I'll just self-study, because then I can study at my own pace and not have to worry about like assessments all right. and all that crap. No, fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. But yeah, um, so random question: If you didn't find music or anything what do you think you would have been into like how do you think where do you think you would be without that well if i like if i never touched a guitar yeah like if you didn't hear the music part you didn't touch a guitar you didn't pick up on the music scene uh man um that's tough um i think one thing for sure is like i'm very outdoorsy i love camping um and stuff like that so definitely like I, i'd be like way more outdoorsy i think that side of me would have come out much more you mean um, like a, a I'm, park ranger or something you maybe know? like or yeah i maybe i don't know uh i'm just talking about hobbies here and uh, but like are you saying like what job would i have if i wasn't into like music oh no uh, yeah like um job or study yeah. wise or s- stuff like that i mean i have i um it's a good question. Like, I mean, I have one music degree. I have a social science degree, and I, and I also have a group animation degree. Uh, I, so I, I'm pretty like I have like a couple of diplomas. Um, just because I study music doesn't mean I'm only I only focus on that. Um, I think um, if I had to like have a, a different field of study, uh, it's not music. Um, I'm very expressive, so maybe something like radio. Like radio is something I really enjoy. Like podcasting is something I really enjoy. Just because I'm not into music specifically doesn't mean I kind of have found my way into audio. Because I really enjoy, oh, yeah, no, you know, I, editing or yeah. video editing in general. Oh, I wasn't saying that there was only music for you. I was just asking. Um, no, for sure, for sure. I'm just saying. Yeah, uh, but it, so you've got three degrees because in Australia, a degree and a diploma yeah. are different. Um, I'm not sure. About I mean, I'm, I might be using the, I, I have like two colleges with diplomas and one university diploma. Yeah. See, so here's the thing though. In Australia, like just to um, explain both ends of it, we don't, mm-hmm. see, we I like, for example, I have a diploma in management, but I'm doing a business degree. Right. So um, I went to college, which is like uh, it's, it's called TAFE here, but I went to like a pri- uh, private institute kind of thing. Um, mm-hmm. that was government funded, and then now I'm at university doing a degree. So we don't have like a university mm-hmm. diploma. Um, so is your university diploma like the same as a degree? And then, because how it goes here is it's uh. After high school, you get certificate three, certificate four, then a diploma, then an advanced diploma, then it goes degree, and then from the degree, then you have like the um, master's degree, PhD, and doctorate. Right, right, right. right. It, is it a similar system there, or? I mean, it is fairly similar. Uh my university degree is a certificate so i don't know if that's like a university degree i'm university educated that's for sure oh no then we'll consider Um, that a degree yeah so um yeah but with the college thing um yeah is i i this confuses me with like how the system is you know what i mean just in general not just with you but a lot of other Right. situations as well. But, I mean, your guess is as good as mine, for sure, for real. So, yeah, you're similar to me. You have two diplomas and one degree, correct? I guess. I mean, I'll just go with that. I, I honestly do not know. Yeah, either way. Oh. <laughs> and Google was not helpful in this instance. Um, Damn it, Google. No! Since I can't think of any other questions, uh, I'll give you your free space. Now, what that means is, like, pretty much you can say whatever you want, do whatever you want. But, yeah, the platform's yours, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, my channel is uh, Giant Music. That's what I do. Um, like I said, top of the show, make anime music. Um, I've covered shows from uh, – I've, I've covered songs from literally many shows, Death Note, One Piece. 
uh, Dragon Ball, Naruto, Yu Yu Hakusho, uh, Sword Art Online, like a bunch of them. I really, really love uh, covering these uh, songs. It's, uh, it's, it's really fun. Um, I also do anime podcasters, and at some point, Retro will be a guest for sure. That's going to happen. And it's going to be a good that. time. Yeah, um, so that's, that's, yeah. Um, that's the plan. To mention the podcast, I was in another podcast with him called Cloud9. Um, which is on my channel. I'm pretty sure it's on your channel as well, is it? Uh, There's a link to the playlist on my channel, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because I got it from yeah. GoPro Kyo, who I've actually interviewed as well, which was awesome fun. Um, yeah, GoPro Kyo's a great guy. Great yeah, guy. Uh, so make sure to check out the interview. I'll let you know when his one's up. But yeah, um, with that, uh, I'll see you guys next time. I have to go do some uni work, sadly. Uh yeah, me too. I have one more paper and I'm done. I'll see you guys next time.